Picture Park offers an adaptive metadata feature to help you better classify and track your assets according to their content and life cycle stages. In the left panel of the interface, an asset class group shows classes that have been defined in the demo environment. The stock class in the media library model shows assets classified as stock images. The meaning and purpose behind each asset class is entirely up to you, so you can build class hierarchies that make sense for your organization and workflows. Double-clicking an asset in the stock asset class will show the asset details window. In the Metadata tab, a content group tracks what type of copyright the stock image is and the licensor. This metadata is unique to assets that are in the stock asset class. By comparison, opening an asset in the Event asset class shows an Event Info metadata group unique to those assets, namely location and date fields. In addition to providing unique fields to specific assets, asset classes let you apply temporary metadata to assets. For example, the Status Asset class shows assets that can be tagged as In Development with a Stage, Editor, and Due Date fields. When development on the asset is complete, it can be removed from the asset class completely or moved into a released class, which shows the date that the asset was released. In this way, assets can contain metadata that adapts to different needs at different stages of the content lifecycle. In addition, metadata can be layered so that it's easy to isolate the fields associated with a given standard, or quickly see only those that will be embedded into the asset for distribution. This concludes this quick overview of Picture Park's Asset Classes feature. If you have additional questions, send an email to info at picturepark.com. Look in the Help tab for other videos in this series, which will focus on specific features of the Picture Park Digital Asset Management System available in the online demo.